那 you can just read after me. 横，横竖撇点。那 there are the names of those strokes. Now, this one 横竖撇点。那 Okay, these are the first five strokes we we uh we learned later, or I mean maybe in the future we're gonna to learn more strokes. And the strokes, yeah, you know, that they are the they are the elements, uh, or components of characters. Okay, uh, we're gonna to continue learning chapter four. Uh, 第四课，第四课 ，Chapter Four， 啊，他是我的汉语老师。然后 maybe a little bit complicated. That just means she is my Chinese teacher. Okay. It, later, after you finish learning this chapter, you will we will turn back to this sentence, and you will find find it. Oh, that's it. Now let's read some pinyin. So words. Let's read some words in Pinyin first. Okay, and also you may take notes if you find. Oh,、uh, I want to remember this word, the meaning of this word. You can just take note to write its corresponding、uh, English、uh, meaning. Now, this one, 知识知识 Meaning, knowledge. 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 Now、for the first syllable, ch, u, chu, chu shi, yeah, chu shi meaning chef, cook. Next one, 生日生日是嗯生日。生日 Yeah, everybody has 生日 because the meaning is birthday. 生日 Next one. 上车上车是。昂上，吃呃车，上车。Ah,、uh, it means get on the car or get on the bus, or whatever vehicles. That we say 上车或上上车。Next one. 认识，认识。日恩认识，常识，常识，吃昂常识，常识。事实，事实。Yeah, someone asking, 认识 what does it mean? Yeah, 认识 means to know, to know, to know somebody, to know uh something. Yeah, particularly somebody. Yeah, 认识 Hmm. Okay, 认识 is to know. 常识 is common sense. Common sense. 
So, uh, maybe I won't mention uh, the meaning of every word. I will mention some uh, frequently used ones. Okay, because the the focus of this practice is to get to uh, to try to practice reading them. Okay, how the next one? Shi shi, shi shi. You just read. Chao ren, chao ren, chi ao chao ren, chao ren, ri en ren, chao ren. Yeah, uh, chao ren is Superman. You know, just now we learned ren. Chao ren is a Superman. Ren shao. 燃烧，日安然，诗凹烧，燃烧。This one， 热闹，热闹，日饿热，呢凹闹。But it's neutral tone, so we read it as. 热闹，热闹。出差，出差。长城，长城。吃昂长。吃昂城，长城，长城。It's the Great Wall. I I know that I、uh, in Beijing, the Great Wall is a very popular tourist uh destination for the visitors. Right when you visit Beijing, probably Changcheng is one of the places you must go. And so. Chang Cheng, Great Wall, the Great Wall. Yes, the Great Wall. Shou Shu, Shou Shu, Shi Ou Shou, Shi Wu Shu, Shou Shu. Shangchang, Shangchang, Shi Ang Shang, Chi Ang Chang, Shangchang, Shangchang. Uh, Shangchang is like um shopping um shopping center or department store. Shangchang. 超市，超市，吃凹超市，超市，超市 is supermarket, supermarket. The last one. 充值，充值。吃翁充值，充值。Okay, wait. I'll I'll read it again. You will try to follow me. 跟我读。Uh, yeah, maybe something special is here for this syllable. There's no tone mark. This one is also has no tone mark, and here 热闹 has no tone mark. Yet these kind of syllables without tone marks are called neutral tone. Yeah, this the if there's no no tone mark, it is called neutral tone. Yeah, later we're going to learn something about neutral tone. Now I'll repeat. 
跟我读，知识，知识，厨师，厨师，生日，生日，上车，上车。认识，认识，常识，常识，事实，事实，超人，超人。燃烧，燃烧，热闹，热闹，出差，出差，长城，长城，手术。手术，商场，商场，超市，超市，充值，充值。All right. Yeah. After class, you may continue practice reading. Um. Come. Uh. Yeah. By watching the video and read the syllables. Okay. Or the words that they are the words consist two syllables. Okay. Yeah. That's a for the pain practice. Yeah. Last time we learned to ask about one's nationality, right? Now, the sentence, the question is, 你是哪国人? Right? 你是哪国人? 我是美国人? 你呢? 我是中国人? Yeah. The, the question, 你是哪国人? 哪国? Which country? 人? People, so um, which country's people are you? Yeah, literally. Okay, so you you should have the idea. I mean, Chinese sentences do not have exactly same words water, uh, word water as English sentences. You know, they are not exactly the same. So in some cases, we cannot translate sentences, uh, word by word. Okay, keep that in mind. Very good. That is what I want you to do. Uh, well, I ask, 你是哪国人? And you use Chinese to answer me by typing Chinese characters or the Chinese sentence to answer the question, 你是哪国人? Yeah, tell me your nationality by typing a Chinese sentence in chatting room. Just like this. Uh, for me, I will say, 我是中国人. And the full stop. Okay. Uh, I read someone. Yeah, the first one said, 我是巴基斯坦人. Good. Mm. One thing I want to remind you is at the end of the sentence, we need to put a small circle as the full stop. Yeah, small circle, the full stop. Uh, I read, someone said, 我是也门人, yeah, also 也门人, full stop. Oh, 巴基斯坦人, 加拿大人, yeah, 加拿大人, full stop. 我是印度人, good. 我是老挝人, ah, 你呢? Uh, one of you mentioned 厄瓜多尔, 
So compare the uh, the characters I put in and the characters you put in. So you, you choose the wrong, you choose the wrong one of the characters wrong. And let me see. Yep, 老挝人、巴基斯坦人、印度人、加拿大人。Okay, 也门人。Yes. Um. And another thing I want to remind you while you text, uh, or write Chinese character is that in between two characters there's no space. So don't type space between two characters. Got it. So, 我是中国人 That is the standard way to type to type Chinese. Not 我 space 是 space 中国 人 Uh, don't leave any space between the two characters when you when you type Chinese. All right. Oh, uh, good. Oh, 我是埃塞俄比亚人 Yes, very good. Don't forget the 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 full stop. Uh, specification of Chinese keyboard. I don't pretty. Clear about what you are asking about. You you download a Chinese keyboard from the website, and um,、mm, just you know try using it, and then you mean where to download? I know, Prof. Uh, yeah. You may check the 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 record of our of our、uh, messages in the group. I'll show you the the website there. Okay. Hello, Prof. Ah,、uh, yeah. What what do you want? Please. Um, the Chinese keyboard I have on my phone is,、uh, from what I'm seeing on the chat now, is totally different. <laughs> I have the Chinese、uh, keyboard、uh, installed on my phone, but from I can't from what you asked us to type, I can't see the characters to type. I have it. To, I have total. Mine is totally different. Uh, I don't know which uh software you download, so I cannot give your instruction right now. Okay, can can we talk about that maybe after class? All right, mom. Okay, thank you. All right. Very good. Yeah, try, uh, try Chinese keyboard. Yeah, you're in Chinese characters. Very good. That's all for this part. And then we're going to talk. We're going to learn something else. Now let's begin with new words. Uh, this one is red. Ta. Ta. Means she or her, ta. And this one is also read ta, ta. But this is he or uh or him. So compare the two characters. Even they share the same pronunciation. The characters. Are somewhat different. The same pronunciation, but two different characters. Now the difference lies here. 
the left part, the left element of the character. <coughs> For yeah, the gender, this one is a uh, female. She, her, this one is male. Him, he. Okay. Ta. Uh, this character is read the the that it of, if uh, it often appears after nouns or pronouns. Yeah, for example, mm, just now we mentioned this one is she or her, uh, but this her is the um how say. The object, her, yeah. like uh, he, him. Right. This the is attached. If we attach the to her, then ta the, ta the. Will be her. Yeah, which means um. She owns, she's the owner, yeah, the position, the relationship of position. And this one, ta de, also ta de, it becomes his, yeah, his. Yeah, do you remember a uh, name? How to say name in Chinese? Yes, very good. 名字, right? 你叫什么名字, 名字. So her name. Yeah, can you text the phrase her name in chatting room? Her name. 她的名字. 她的名字, 名字. Mo ying ming ming tada ming and about his name. Yeah, what about his name? Tada means his name. It will be his name is Tada ming day. So when we see it, those are ta de mingzi. But when we write it, you will find oh for female one, ta de. For male one, ta de. Okay. Good. Hang hao. Now let's continue. The next word. Jiga zi. Shui. Shui. Means who. Who. Who? Okay. Next one. This phrase, uh, this word is red. Han yu. Han yu. Han yu. Chinese language. Chinese language. That's what you are learning, right? Han yu. Good. Yeah, this one. Tong Xue Tong Xue Te Ong Tong Xi Yue Xue Tong Xue Tong Xue is classmates, schoolmates. Tong Xue. Okay. Now, please um, tell me how to say. Her classmates in Chinese. Yeah, you text the the phrase in the chatting room. Her classmates. Her classmates. Ah, Tong Shu. Don't forget the. 
，他的，他的同学，他的同学，同学，对，他的同学 ，very good。那 What about his classmates? His classmates. His classmates. Yeah, when you put pinyin ta in、uh, on your keyboard, you need to choose from the from the different alternatives. Yeah, maybe different、uh, characters. One is ta, one is another ta. So choose according to the gender. Good. 他的同学 ，his classmates. Another word, yeah. Another word, 朋友，朋友，朋朋，一哦有 ，but、uh, neutral tone. 朋友，朋友 yeah, ，that is friend, friend, 朋友 ，friend. All right. Yeah. Try to think how to、um, express my friend, my friend in Chinese. Text it in chatting room. My friend, my, 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 I, me. What is the Chinese word for it? Yes, 我 and my. We should we should attach the to 我 It will become 我的 Yeah. So once we learned 我 is I or me, right? 我的 that will be my. 我的朋友 and my classmates in Chinese. My chi my classmates. In English, classmates. Which word is classmate? Yeah, 同学我的同学 Great. 我的同学 ，very good. Yes, wow, you are so great. You you can you can type Chinese. Yeah, you if you don't have key Chinese keyboard, you can try pinyin first. But you need to figure out how to use Chinese keyboard. Install a Chinese keyboard first. Yeah, anything, yeah, learn to use it. All right, good. Now let's read. Please read after me. 跟我读，他，他，他的，他的，他，他，他的，他的，谁，谁。谁？同学，同学，朋友，朋友，汉语，汉语。Okay, one more very difficult question. Uh, whose? How to express whose in Chinese? Who is 谁 and whose? In Chinese, you may try. Yeah, for example, whose book? Whose name? Whose classmates? Whose? How to say that whose in Chinese? Yeah, who is she? Who's should be she? The she? The 
Yes, that's right. 谁的 Whose friend? 谁的朋友 Whose 同学 Whose classmates? 谁的同学 Yeah, yeah. Whose classmates? 谁的同学 Whose classmates? 谁的朋友 Whose friends? Yeah. Now,、uh, someone asked me, "Chinese people, my friends, is this correct?" Um,、uh, just one thing missing. Yeah, you better see. Chinese people are my friends. If you mean Chinese people are my friends, yeah, you better add "shi." Remember last time we said, "I am Chinese." Shi shi means is or be, right? 中国人是我的朋友。Chinese people are my friends. Okay. 他，他的的谁谁。汉语，汉语，同学，同学，朋友，朋友。Yep,、yeah, let's look at that dialogue. Yep,、yeah, yeah. Going to talk about who are they? He is who? He is who? Who is she? Who is she? But the sentence, the word order in the sentence is different from the English one, right? English one is who is she, but in Chinese is. She is who? <laughs> so interesting. That, so keep that in mind. The word word order may not as exactly the same as English sentences. He is who? He is who? Maybe I point at her and I ask, "He is who?" Okay, then this answer. He is my Chinese teacher. He is my Chinese teacher. She is my Chinese teacher. Again, he is. 我的汉语老师 ，she's my Chinese teacher。再读一遍，她是我的汉语老师，她叫李月，她叫李月。Remember? When we talk about people's name, we may say 叫 Yeah, 他叫李月 She is called Li Yue. Yeah, actually, is her name is Li Yue. 好，再读一遍。她是我的汉语老师。她叫李月。小。跟我读，他是谁？他是谁？他是我的汉语老师。他是我的汉语老师。
他叫李月。他叫李月。She is my Chinese teacher. 老师 ，teacher. Right? We learned it before, I guess. All right. 好。Yeah, look at the picture. I will ask you the question. Ta shi shui. So you read the text. Ta shi wo de han yu lao shi. Ta jiao li yue. And she's my Chinese teacher. Her name is Li Yue. Okay. Now here, let's talk about some something about the. Yeah, let's talk about the a little bit. Yeah, it is called a structural particle. The. Yeah, usually it appears after a noun or a pronoun, and then a noun in the structure, noun or pronoun, the and a noun. The, the structure indicates possession. When the noun following the is a term of kinship or indicates a person, the can be omitted. Yeah, just now we learned, um, 我的老师，他是我的老师 right? So my teacher, 我的同学 my classmates, 我的朋友。My friends, 他的朋友 her friend, 他的同学 her classmate, 他的老师 her teacher. So the yeah, used after a、uh, a noun or a pronoun. It indicates someone. The 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 relationship of position. Now here comes the thing. If the name, ah,、uh, if the noun here is a term of kinship, or this noun indicates a person, that the can be omitted. Yeah, let's look at these examples. The examples are in Chinese without pinyin. Now let's try the first, the second one here. This one. 李月是我的老师。那 I'll write pinyin for you. 李月是我的老师。那 the sentence 老师。A teacher, now, 我 the pronoun and a 的 now that is the structure, right? And in this case, 老师 is a person. 老师 is a person. So we can just say 我老师李月是我老师 So 的 can be removed. I just say Li Yue is my teacher. Another example: He is not my student. He is not my student. He is not my student. Yeah, 同学 is classmate. 他不是我的同学 Yeah, we can see the sentence in this way. And since 同学 is a person, so the yeah also can be removed. You just say 他不是我同学 Right? 他不是我同学 She's not my classmate. Yeah, the second part. 她是我的妹妹
妹妹，妹妹 means 啊、uh, ，younger sister， 呃、uh, ，neutral tone here should be neutral tone。妹妹，她是我的妹妹。She's my younger sister。她是。我的妹妹 ，so you say 妹妹 is a term of kinship. So this 的我的 it can be 我，我妹妹，我妹妹，她是我妹妹。Okay. All right. Now let's read sentence two and three. Li Yue is my sorry. Yeah, two versions. Li Yue is my teacher. Li Yue is my teacher. Sentence three. He is not my teacher. He is my sister. Another version. 他不是我同学，他是我妹妹。But let's take a look at example one. Example one. 我的书，我的书，书 means book. So 我的书 means my Book, right? My book. Now, 书 is not a term of a kinship, nor it doesn't indicate a person. So, in this phrase, 的 should not be omitted. Okay, so we have to say 我的书，我的书 ，not 我书。We can say 我老师。我同学，我妹妹 ，but we do not say 我书。Okay, we have to say 我的书，我的书 ，my book, my book. Okay, is that clear? If you think, yeah, it's clear. You just a text. Mm. Art. <laughs> Very good. Art. Yes. How the? If you still, if you are not clear, that you text them.、Um, Sun. Sun. Not clear. Oh, someone said not clear. Yeah. For example. Oh, still, some of you are not clear. Now let let me rephrase it.、Mm. Now, once we've learned, my teacher is 我的老师 right? And 老师 is a person. So in this phrase, 我的老师的 can be omitted. We just simply say 我老师我老师 So 李月是我老师 ，and I I may say 我是你老师，我是你们老师，对吗？我是你们老师，你们 you I am your teacher. So since um teacher is a person, so the Can be omitted. We may say, 你们老师，你们的老师 That's that normal one. 你们的老师 And also, you can say, 你们老师 Yeah, since 老师 is a person, so in this structure, the can be. Omitted. If here is a person,
你们的老师 can be also 你们老师，我的老师，我老师，我的同学，我同学，我的妹妹，我妹妹，他的 ，for example， 啊。他的朋友 ，friend， 他的朋友 ，because 朋友 is a person， so the can be omitted， and then the phrase becomes 他朋友。Right， yeah， that is the， uh， the the in the structure， noun or pronoun plus the。And plus a noun. If the the noun is a person, the can be omitted. Alright, yeah, that's all for this part. Alright, now let's look at the another、uh, next、uh, text. Again, the question: Who is he this time? He is who? Look at him. I point at him and、I、ask, "Ta shi shui? Ta shi shui?" 跟我读 "Ta shi shui? Ta shi 我同学 Ta shi 我同学 So you see that if we say, "Ta shi 我的同学 very good, right? Uh, you know, we can say, 他是我的同学 But, because 同学 is a person, so the can be omitted. You just say, 他是我同学 He is my classmate. 他是我同学 He is my classmate. 那他呢？他呢 ？What about her? What about her? 他是你同学吗？他是你同学吗 ？Remember last time we mentioned "ma" is attached to a statement. Change the statement into a simple question: yes or no question. 她是你同学吗 ？Is she your classmate? 她是你同学吗？她不是我同学。她不是我同学。不是 ，not is. She is not my classmate. She is not my classmate. 他是我朋友。他是我朋友。She's my friend. She's my friend. Okay. Now I'll read it again. 他是谁？他是谁？他是我同学。他是我同学。他呢？他呢？他是你同学吗？他是你同学吗？他不是我同学。他不是我同学。他是我朋友。他是我 ，Ma'am。Yes。呃，他呢 ？After the 他呢？他是你的同学吗 ？Yeah, sure. You can add the here. The， 你的，你的同学。Also your friend. Yeah, usually here's the， 呃、uh, ，because 同学 is a person， 的 is omitted. Yeah, it can be omitted. 他是你的同学吗？ Is she your classmate? Yeah, that's 
correct sentence. Okay, are you clear about the structure, the meaning of this dialogue? Yeah, you can text uh, five in Chinese in the chatting room. Five. Mm, five in Chinese. Is mm. You see that uh, many of you choose different wu, but there's only one is correct. Wu. This one. Yeah, the correct one. Uh -huh. So when you type pinyin, uh -huh. you may have several options to choose from. You will choose this one to mean five. Yes, yeah, that's clear. Very good. Uh, if you find it, no, I'm not clear about it. I still have questions. Now you text six. Remember six? Uh, just now we mentioned it a little. Liu, right? Liu. Le Liu. 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 Liu is not clear. <laughs> so again, Ta Shi Shui. Yeah, or Ta Shi Shui. Who is he? Ta Shi Wo Tong Shui. He's my classmate. Ta Na. What about her? Is she your classmate? 她不是我同学. She is not my classmate. 她是我朋友. She's my friend. Okay. So, 谁? It's a question word to ask who. So in C, at the end of it, there's a question mark because it is a question to ask who he is. 他是我同学. He is my classmate. Um, 我同学 can also be 我的同学. They are the same. 他呢? What about her? So it's a simple way or simplified way to repeat the questions which has been raised uh, in the previous part. So the previous previous part, uh, the previous question is 他是谁? Now here 他呢 is to repeat this question uh, just uh, in a simple way. Now, for example, just now I pointed at this guy. 他是谁? 他是我同学? And then I want to ask about her. So I just simply say, 他呢? Yeah, also I mean 他是谁? So but you don't have to repeat the question because the question uh, you want to ask is as the same as the first one. 他是你同学吗? Are your uh, uh, uh sorry is she your classmate? 她是你同学吗? We use ma at the end of the statement attached to the statement to ask a simple question, yes or no question. 她不是我同学,不是 is not. 她不是我同学. She is not my classmate. 她是我朋友, she's my friend. Okay. Uh, now, I'll read this short dialogue one more time. After class, you may uh, read after me to learn how to read the sentences correctly. Okay. 她是谁? 她是我同学? 她呢? 他是你同学吗? 他不是我同学. 他是我朋友. 
Okay, now you can turn on your mic and uh, let's try uh, about talking about this picture. Oh, guys, 他是谁? 他是谁? You answered the question. Okay, very good. Okay. Tashiwa Bushi Okay, yep. good. Yeah, mm. yeah. You did a very good job. After class, you may try more. Yeah, listen to the, uh, watch the video and uh, try and uh, practice more. And the same, just without pinging. And after class, you can practice read them without pinging. All right, now let's do some exercise like this. Talk about the picture. <clears throat> now look at the picture. I guess you know him, right? Steve Jobs. And uh, he is Steve Jobs. Uh, in Chinese, we call him Qi yi ao qiao bu wu bu si qiao bu si Yeah, that's his name in Chinese. Ta shi qiao bu si Good. Ta shi na guo ren? Ta shi na guo ren? Good. Ta shi mei guo ren? Very good. Fei chang hao. 他是美国人. Yeah, you may try text the phrase American people in Chinese. Yeah, type it in our chatting room. 美国人. 他是, maybe the sentence. 他是美国人. Try the sentence. 他是 美国人 uh, Don't leave space between mom, the mom, words Mom, Tashi Kuashe Bushi What I mean? Tashi Meigoren Ren Yeah, Tashi Meigoren Yes Alright Tashi Kuashe Tashishamah. Yeah, what's that? What do you mean? Um and this one? Yeah, you use simplified Chinese. Do not use the 
the um the used uh, complicated ones. I mean, go. Okay. So probably. So I sent two versions of Meiguoren into the chatting room. The second one is the one we currently oh, we are currently using. Okay, the second one. So most of you choose most of you choose the the right one. Okay, very good. 好，他是乔布斯，他是美国人。Now let's try this one. Ta shi li na. Ta shi li na. Li na is her name. She's a tennis player, a very good Chinese tennis player. Oh, so you know? Ta shi na guo ren. Give me the answer. Ta shi na guo ren. Answer this question. 他是哪国人 ？Pay attention to the gender and pay attention to the correct characters for Chinese people. 他是，他是。中国人 ，Yes, that's right. 他是中国人 So first of all, you should choose this 他 Yeah, the female one. 他是中国人 The 拼音 Oh, 中国 Chinese. Uh, so you may find some of you choose. Hmm. Incorrect characters. Yeah, first of all, you should put in the correct pinyin syllable and choose the correct characters. 他是中国人 Yes. So, a、uh, very crucial, a very critical word and a crucial part for typing Chinese. One is correct pinyin. Second. Choose the correct characters, right? 好，她是你，她是李娜，她是中国人。Now let's try that one. All right, 她叫玛丽，玛丽 ，Mary， 呀 ，Mary，Mary Mary in Chinese we call girls named Mary， 玛丽。他不是我，嗯嗯，他是我，嗯哼。<laughs> so you may use a correct, uh, you may use proper words to complete the sentence. She is not my. She is my. All right, you may use your imagination. 他不是我同学，他是我朋友。Great. 他不是我同学。他同同西学学同学。他不是我朋友。呃、uh, ，Sure, you can write. 他不是我朋友。That's also correct. 他是我。Now here I may put 朋友。Okay, so you just use this term, 同学 and 朋友 But what about she is not my teacher? She is not my teacher. Okay, 朋友 uh, Someone used uh, the wrong pinyin, so you choose the wrong character. <coughs> Try to. 
compare the character you chose and the correct ones. 是朋友 not 朋友 The 拼音 is p n p n. This one is p n p n. Okay, good. Hmm, she is not my teacher. 她不是我老师 Very good. 她不是我老师 Very good. 老师 teacher. Okay, pay attention to 她 the she. Female. So, if you choose the male, ta, hmm, that's not correct. Very good. 他是我朋友 Okay. So, so first of all, should you 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 should use the correct opinion and choose correct character. Now let's move on to the, this one. 他叫大卫 Yeah, 他叫大卫。Uh, the English name David is translated into Chinese. 大卫，他是我们的，他是我们的。Yeah, what what words you can write here? So you may try different. Yeah, 他是我们的老师，他是我们的朋友。他是我们的同学 ，very good, very good. Now, what about he is our Chinese teacher? 他是我们的 Chinese teacher. Can you tell me? 他是我们的 Chinese teacher. She, uh, he teaches Chinese language. Yeah, that's his job. Chinese language in Chinese. Remember, we learned it just now. Han Yu, right? Yeah, 他叫大卫，汉语老师，老师。Yeah, the character Han Yu, 老师。他是我们的汉语老师，他叫大卫，他是我们的汉语老师。Very good. And also, I am your Chinese teacher. So my sentence is: 我是你们的汉语老师。我是你们的。汉语老师，你们是同学 ，right? You are classmates. 你们是同学，你们是我的学生，你们是我的学生。Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, I think uh, it's time for today's class. Yeah, that's all for today's class. Yeah, after class, you may review the sentence. Hmm. Oh yeah. Some someone asked the question. Can we use Chinese instead of Chinese? Yeah, Chinese and Chinese they are um very similar to each other. So you can say that. Oh, he is our Chinese teacher. Yeah, sure. That's correct. Okay, all right. That's all for today. See you next time. 下课，下课。That means class is over. 汉语，汉语。Wow, here comes a very interesting question. Um, <laughs> 谢谢 Yes, that's right. 谢谢 Very good. 好，再见。Can you text 再见 in the chatting room? 谢谢 ，not 谢谢。So, 
Choose the correct characters is very important. 谢谢同学们，谢谢同学们，再见。再见，再见。